I suck at fly fishing, but for the past few years I've been working to improve my skills. Even then, as a conventional angler, I never really dedicated that much time to perfect my craft with the fly rod. Quite recently, however, my buddy Nathan surprised me with my first guided fly fishing trip. This is Mr. Westman, who will be our guide for the day. The target species is smallmouth, and we have 8 hours to get our flies wet. Now let's go catch some smallie jaws. Enjoy. So today we're gonna to be floating the, the main stem of the Shenandoah. It's pretty low today. It's actually quite low. We're about um, maybe 18 inches below where we normally are this time of year. But there's a lot of bait fish around. We've had great uh, smallmouth spawn this year. So we'll be fishing some topwater Culex, fishing some CK bait fish, um, various colors, and then throw in, uh, throw in some topwater stuff and see if we can uh, get some things on the surface. So we got about uh, an eight mile float ahead of us and we're uh, just getting started. So we'll see what the day brings. Yes, sir. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what half of those flies are, but uh, I trust in Galen's instincts and I think we're gonna absolutely smash them today. So what rod should I use? This one? Yeah, let's start out with that. Ooh, we got, got a copper it. and a damselfly nymph. Interesting. Okay, so we're looking for some deep water. Is running water also good? Running water is good. Okay. <laughs> you fish you forward of the road. Hi. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> now, how fast should I be working this? Slower than that. Okay. Not, not quite as aggressive. Okay, okay. I like to let it. Oh, no. No. Ugh. Oh, it popped up the whole thing. Now, has there ever been a guided trip where your client wasn't able to catch a fish. Oh, don't ask those questions. No, no, no. I'm just saying, you know, I don't might be the first, but... Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, get your butt in the water. Yeah, I, we're, we're almost there, almost there. That looked like one of those eight inchers. Okay, so this sinks pretty fast. So what uh, what I'm throwing right now, what is it really imitating? Crawfish. Crawfish, okay. Go. Sorry to interrupt the intro. Looks like I'm gonna have to get back in the water. Holy cow, Nathan. There you go. Right over Galen's head. Yeah. All right, you can toss him back. Doop. That's what's up. Oh, there's a carp. Carp, carp, carp. All right. You get blown up on? Yeah. Oh, there's a carp. Dang. I don't know why. So CK. CK bait fish, and then we got a black streamer in the back. Yeah, this streamer will probably catch like this tiny small mouth. There's, oh yeah, that's a smallie. Okay, I think we're getting into better fishing. I think he hit the woolly bugger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there it is. It's a black woolly bugger. Yeah, these guys jump. In all my smallmouth fishing, I've never had a smallmouth really jump that much. So it's. This is a little fun little fight. Oh yeah, it's coming around. There we go. Thank you for the net. Hey guys, if you haven't already left a thumbs up, make sure you do that. <laughs> All right, that's gorgeous. I know, I, I shouldn't do that again. But yeah, that's a good smallie. See you buddy. Ooh, not a bit. Wow, this is easy to cast, surprisingly. <laughs> As I hit the... Or I was literally just about to the water. There. there, yeah. A little one, but yeah. Saw the line and I was like, oh yeah. Woo! Look at look at that rod bend. Jeez. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, it's bigger than I thought. Okay, that that's a good one. I'm, I might need a net for this guy. Yes, that that's a solid one. Okay. Yeah, thank you. See you, buddy. <laughs> the best part about sitting in the front not only is being able to like cast everywhere, but also you are right next to the food. <sighs> I messed up. I accidentally deleted the GoPro footage for the rest of the trip. For those of you guys who have been keeping up with the channel, you would know that I've been doing a bunch of traveling. So for the past couple of weeks, I've actually just been editing. I haven't actually been out and actively filming, just straight up editing videos. And I guess I just got unorganized at some point and I tossed out about 
let's say six hours of footage on the GoPro. Uh, yeah, I know it's I know it's a bummer to hear, but there's some good news. I still have footage from the big camera, so those include all the bigger fish catches. Not like the couple dozen of like small little small mouth that we missed. Now on my channel, I want to make a commitment to produce the best type of content for you guys. And I am extremely sorry for just, uh, I don't know what was going through my head. I was just editing and then I saw a folder with all the files. And I was like, yeah, I don't need that. I already have them on this other SD card because I filmed with two SD cards. And yeah, it just went down from there. Hey, but you know, we should always make the best out of a bad situation. So we're gonna go and show you all the rest of the footage I luckily have saved on here. Sorry again for that. Mid-fight interview, Nate. How's it feel? Shut up, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he does it. Yeah. There we go. All oh, beautiful colors. Woo! That's one. That's a fish there. That has been <sighs> many hours in the waiting. Yeah. What's up, fish and subscribers? It's your boy, Nathan, hooked up on a big fish. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. I caught a big fish. That's pretty all right. Here, let me show you. Yeah, there's the fish. <laughs> on, the top, on top water. Not half bad. Thanks to our guy, Jalen. And emotional support fish again, as always. 18 yeah. inches. Holy cow, dude. Yeah, dude. Right. Yeah. Nice fish. Yes. Nice. Oh, we're hooked on our first popper fish. Actually, popper smallie. Yeah. I love the jumps they have. It's ridiculously fun. Now let's get them in there. <sighs> Thank you. Okay, that's that's probably my biggest one, maybe. Nice. Yeah, he didn't he didn't seem that big when he was in the water. Now that I'm holding him, yeah, check that out. He was a nice good. little guy. Twelve and a half. And a half. All right, there he is. Twelve and a half inch smallie. Back you go. Thanks for biting. Twelve hours out on the water, and I, I would say we had quite the smallmouth experience. Now I'm gonna let Galen tell you guys, f from his perspective, what it was like having two younger clients. You know, his clients are yeah. usually like 60 years old. So, how was it having us on the boat, and uh, how did our day go? It, it was great. You guys, you had a, a great day on the water. Uh, for the conditions we had, it was low water, uh, bluebird day, sky, uh, nice day. Hard fishing day mm -hmm. though, but we put some some good fish in the boat. Um, you guys, your uh, stamina was incredible. You guys fished all <laughs> day long and throwing throwing big rods and big flies and in the wind. Um, it got windy for <laughs> yeah a couple hours during the day, and you guys uh, you guys are great with that. We love fishing. Thank thank you for having us. Hey, thanks for coming up to uh, to Shenandoah up to here to Winchester mm -hmm. and. Uh, Hey, if you guys uh, want to book a trip with him on a smallmouth t uh, trip like we had today, I'll leave his contact information down in the bio. But uh, we're, we got a two and a half hour drive home, so we're gonna get going, probably gra grab some food all along the way, but uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and it was really fun. So we'll see you in the next video, and as always, fish for the adventure.